뭘 드릴까요? 뭘 is the shortened form of 무엇을 뭐를 You can omit the object marker as in 뭐 뭐 드릴까요? You can tell that the woman saying 뭘 드릴까요 is a clerk who works at a store and is asking what the customer wants to buy. 장미가 예쁘네요. 장미 주세요. What does the customer want to buy here? Yes, 장미, roses. Since we were talking about flowers, we can make the assumption that the men went to a flower shop to buy flowers. So the correct answer is number one, 꽃집, a place for buying flowers. Number two, 식당 is a restaurant, 교실, a classroom, 약국, a pharmacy. As an FYI, here, 네요 is an ending used to express surprise about a fact that the speaker has just learned through direct experience. For example, in this situation, the speaker saw the roses in their storefront and just realized that they were quite pretty. So he said, 장미가 예쁘네요. Wow, the roses are beautiful. If you just realized how cold the weather really was, you can say, 날씨가 춥네요. If you just realize that there is heavy traffic, you could say, 길이 많이 막히네요. As you may have noticed, 네요 can be attached to whatever stem is used by the preceding verbs or adjectives. Whether it ends in a Consonant or vowel doesn't matter. 어서 오세요, 손님. This expression is used to welcome customers. 어디까지 가세요? This is an expression used to ask the destination of the customer and is usually used by a taxi driver. The female customer answered, 한국 대학교로 가 주세요. Please take me to the 한국 university. So obviously, the place where this conversation is being conducted is inside a taxi. So the answer is number two, 택시. 공항 is the airport. 우체국 post office and 백화점 department store. Number nine. 방은 5층이고요. 501호입니다. 5층, the fifth floor, 501호, the room number 501. Apparently, the woman was informing the man about which floor his room is located on, specifically room number 501, which obviously is on the fifth floor. 네, 아침 식사 시간은 언제예요? 아침 식사, breakfast. The place is where the breakfast is provided. Yes, it sounds like a hotel here, doesn't it? So number one, hotel, is the answer. Number two, 회사 is a company. 극장, a theater. And 빵집, a bakery. 산책하다, to take a walk. 나무가 많다. There are a lot of trees. 넓다, to be spacious. Even though you might not have understood all the expressions in this dialogue, if you caught these keywords, you may have thoughts something like 공원, 
will be the most relevant place out of the list of choices, and you'll be right. That's another very good way to solve a question. Now let's focus on some points to remember. First, Udo. It indicates the purpose of going or coming to a certain location and can be combined with a verb that indicates movement, such as 가다, 오다, 다니다. The 으로 form is used when the stem of the preceding verb ends in a consonant other than 리을, such as in 점심을 먹으러 가요. I'm going somewhere to have lunch. On the other hand, 러 is used when the stem ends in a vowel or the consonant 리을, as in 공부하러 왔어요. I came to study. 놀러 가요. I'm going somewhere to play. So, 저 여기 산책하러 자주 오는데 I often come here to take a walk. 참 좋지요? Isn't it quite nice? The next grammar points to remember is 아서 어서. These are connective endings indicating that the preceding statement is the cause for the preceding statement. 아서 어서 can be combined with adjectives and verbs. When the last vowel of the stem of the preceding verb or adjective is either 오 or 아, then 아서 is used as in 많아서. But when the vowel is neither 오 nor 아, then 어서 is attached as in 넓어서. If the stem ends in 하, 하 becomes 해서 as it is combined with the 아서 어서 ending as in 시원해서 So, 나무도 많고 넓어서 좋네요 means, I like it because there are so many trees and it's spacious here. Good job, guys. That's all for today. Today's question type was related to figuring out the location where a conversation is taking place. Please don't forget to review the location-related vocabulary on pages 43 and 44 and some key grammar points we covered today. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments below. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson as well, and see you next time. Bye!